Check out FlipsideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10 and support the channel at the same time. Hey there, it's John from Heroes and Legends. Guess what we got today? You see that dinosaur staring at us? It's Exelon. We got an Exelon fat pack to open up. And a couple packs, too. I grabbed a couple of random packs, so I'd have a multiple of six to play with, or multiples of three to play with. So uh, let's open up the fat pack first. I'm going to keep these two packs to the side, and then that way we'll open them last. But let's, we'll see what's in the fat pack first. Okay, let me get this plastic off. And I'm excited. Today is the launch day, the release day of Exelon. Grab the fat pack. There's going to be plenty of more pack openings coming on the channel. I do have a few booster boxes I'll be opening later on when those arrive. I also have um, some pre-release kits coming that we'll do some, some uh, deck building with too. Some limited deck building. All right. So we start off, as always, with our theft protection device. Very important. That's there. <laughs> and then, of course, we get our book. I'll just kind of thumb through it really quick. It goes through the mechanics of the set. Tells you the top 10 coolest cards. Looks like Jace is number one. He's the coolest card. Uh, there's a whole bunch of other good ones on the list too. And then we move on to some of the lore. I like these books. Like I like getting the fat packs, honestly, just for these books. They're kind of cool to have just collectively. And then, of course, at the end you get the entire card index which is pretty awesome too so there you go that hasn't changed any uh the box itself i can open up the box so you can see the poster too do this quickly and it's just the key art but it's cool i like the key art for the set so there you go okay so what's in the box you get this sort of place filler box but i mean it's still a box and it's got a magic symbol on it i've never found a use for those i like them though i think they actually look pretty cool all right here's our actual card box and you get your spin down we got a red one you get your packs we'll put those aside for the moment and then we'll open them uh, quick guide, pretty standard stuff that you get in all these products. Uh, you get a lamp pack. I won't open this lamp pack. I was opening them. Well, should I open it for the Jaces? No, nah, that's all right. There's Jace right on the front. <laughs> so I won't uh, go through that. My assumption is one fourth of these will be Jace lands. <laughs> okay, let's. that's everything. Let's go ahead and open the packs. We'll open our fat pack packs first, our 10 packs, and we'll take it from there. All right, let's see how we do with this fat pack. First Ixalan we're opening on the channel, always exciting. And uh, I'll thumb kind of briskly through the commons, but since it's the first time we're opening this, I'll, I'll make sure you get to see them. All right, we get Rigging Runner, Otapek Huntmaster, Dark Nourishment, our rare is, hey, not a bad one, Veraska's Contempt, very good rare, very standard playable removal. And we even get a foil on this one, it's Desperate Castaways. Cardstock. I don't know, maybe it's my imagination. Feels a little better than it did. It's not quite like the old card stock, but it doesn't feel as bad as maybe the last set or two. I don't know. So maybe my imagination. We'll have to kind of see how the cards hold up as we actually play with them and stuff. Okay, next pack. We start off with another Ryle to begin things off. All right, I'm pretty excited about the set. I don't know if you had a chance to play the pre-release or play limited with it. I played one game of sealed or five rounds and uh, three rounds of draft, and I had a lot of fun with it, actually. Field of Rune, Air Elemental, classic card. That's awesome. Snapping, Sailback, and a River's Rebuke. Great limited card, and uh, this actually did very well for me in my sealed pool, actually. Printing looks a little nicer, too. It looks a little darker, like a little bit... Um, more hefty and I do like that and uh, there's our treasure token along with our checklist card okay so two packs down no uh expedition expeditions masterpieces <laughs> in this set so yeah is what it is kind of wish we had them just because they're kind of fun to open on the channel <laughs> when we do run into them not that it happens all that often but uh, but we'll look for some mythics maybe we'll get a Vraska or something if we're real lucky all right, so we'll start off with Grim Captain's Call, Elaborate Fire Cannon, Thundering Spine Back. Our rare is Advances Blasting Cannons. That's actually pretty sweet. This, of course, is a transform card. And there's the other side as well, Spitfire Bastion. So that's pretty sweet. I like that pull. I'll take it. Getting some good cards definitely to play with in limited. 
Blasting Cannon seems like it has a lot of potential too. I think it could fit into certain decks and be pretty cool. So, all right. This is what, pack number, I already lost count. This is pack number four. Okay, oops, first uncommon is Perilous Voyage. Then we get a Wanted Scoundrels, and then a Bishop of the Bloodstained. Our rare, it is a mythic, and it is the Dinosaur Commander. Gisath Sun's Avatar. It's actually pretty sweet. So, yeah, it's cool. And we get a foil on this one too. It's a Tempest Caller. That's an awesome pull though. So I like to put something together, just kind of a fun dinosaur build. So maybe that's, maybe it's a Commander deck and I can use that now. We'll see. All right, next pack. I think this is the fifth. Getting a lot of riles. Keep seeing those go by. <laughs> All right. Our first uncommon, Belligerent Brontodon. We got a chart, a course, and an Edzokin Edzo Archer. And then we get another Vraska's Contempt. It's funny how often you get the same rare in these fat packs. It happens to me a lot, but when it's a good one, I'm more than happy. <laughs> oh, look at that. Speaking of a good thing, Foil Spell Pierce. That's kind of sweet. <laughs> so, common, of course, but Spell Pierce is just an awesome card. So, he's playing a lot of places. So, getting a foil is actually pretty awesome. All right, next pack. see how we do here so far I'm real happy though we got the mythic we got the one uh, transform card which is real cool and two of Raska's contempts are pretty awesome all right wild growth walker raptor hatchling adato vanguard <laughs> very good for limited and an entrancing melody another good card that I think could be very good in limited I haven't tried it out yet but seems like it could be good all right we got four more packs from the fat pack and then I'll open my Two extra packs, see if we hit something good in those two. All right. Move through these commons, and here we go with a Vine Shaper Mystic, Imperial Lancer, a Danto Vanguard, another one. Our rare is a Daring Saboteur. The card seems sweet too, I want to try that one out. All right, three more. And then our extra two. All right, something's going on outside. I don't know if you'll be able to hear that in the video or not. I'll try to filter it out. <laughs> but if you hear any noise in the background, uh, I'm sorry. I don't know what's going on. All right, Sentinel Totem, Lightning Rig Crew, Call to the Feast, and Tukatli Honor Guard. There you have it, okay? And two more packs from the Fat Pack, and then our two bonus packs. This was a regular video i'd probably just stop recording if i heard a crazy noise outside but since i'm opening packs i don't want to make too many cuts and stuff unless something sometimes i make cuts because something goes wrong with my camera but that's a little different <laughs> i like to keep it with one cut so that it doesn't look like anything shady is going on all right not that i usually open anything good enough to make it feel like anything shady happened but anyway makeshift munitions raging sword tooth raptor hatchling our rare is a Rampaging Ferocidon. I actually really like this card. I think this could be great in some aggro decks. And we get ourselves another foil. It's a Shaper Apprentice. A lot of foils in this particular fat pack. All right, last pack. Overall, no matter what happens here, I'm pretty happy with it. I love the dinosaur mythic we got. I love the two Varaskas uh, contempts. I love the transform card. So we got some good stuff. The spell pierce too. The foil spell pierce was sweet. Another Royal starting things off. <laughs> Ryle. Royal. Ryle. Okay. We got Deep Root Waters. Ruthless Nav. Stormfleet Spy. Our rare is a Sanctum Seeker. Okay. So let's get into these two bonus packs. So that's your fat pack. Um, hopefully you got an idea of what's in these things. Decide if it's something you want to buy. I like the book myself. Like I like to buy them just for the book. And I think that's good and that's good enough reason for me. But if that's not important to you, you're probably just better off buying, well, probably singles. But if you're trying to buy cards to play maybe limited with, you might be happier to just pick up a booster box. It's going to be in the long run a little better for you. You can find better deals that way. All right. And a quick reminder, too, if you check out the description below and you're looking for some Ixalan, we do have a promo code from... Um, Flipside Gaming, which is awesome that they gave that to us. So check that out. Trove of Temptation, Emissary of Sun Sunrise, 
Chart, of course, are rare. Hey, not bad. Admiral Beckett, another mythic. This is out of one of our two random packs, so hey, I'll take it. Okay, now that noise outside is getting louder. Um, <laughs> so I'm going to try to wrap things up with this pack quickly. And hopefully I can filter it out. We'll see what I can do in, in the editing. <laughs> All right, we have a Raider's Wake. Bright Reprisal, Dead Eye Quartermaster, our rare, is an old growth dryads. And there you have it. It's a pretty cool looking island. All right, so that is Ixalan. We're going to open plenty more on the channel. So definitely, if you haven't yet subscribed, give us a subscribe. Don't miss anything. We'll be opening at least a couple booster boxes. We'll be opening a couple pre release packs once they arrive, probably later and probably early next week, I would assume, or middle of next week. So as soon as they get here, we'll work on those. Uh, and also, as always, check out the description below also for our Patreon page, as well as some other Amazon links that help us out. So, hey, until next time, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.